So, um, as I'm sure you're, most of you guys are aware, um, Joe Rogan's been going through a pretty, pretty interesting um, experience since he signed with Spotify, right? Signing with Spotify was meant to be the dawn of the new age with Joe Rogan Podcast, the start of a new era. And now it's probably turned into more trouble than it's worth. Sands, of course, except that he's got a nice fat wad of cash in the back pockets of his trashy jeans. But um, at the moment, the latest development, allegedly, through the grapevine, is that a certain segment of the Spotify, um, you know, um, employees have uh, essentially voiced their concerns about Joe Rogan, the guests he has on there, the topics they speak about, and they're essentially pushing for editorial um, rights or censorship abilities um, on their platform because they feel as if Joe Rogan is somehow a dangerous character on their platform. And Joe has so far not really addressed it directly apart from obviously the tim didn't episode he spoke about and said hey he hasn't heard anything on his side and from i from from what i've ascertained i guess from reading in between the lines i think he's probably telling the truth he probably hasn't heard anything on his side he is the big whale that so if i have secured in order to take their podcasting um platform to the next level they're not gonna you know uh busy him or bother him with such uh you know uh issues they'll deal with that stuff in-house and in general anyway unfortunately especially if you're working in a startup i think you just have to realize that when when things happen above you they just happen i've worked in many startups where you you get given the idea that you have a voice and you can sort of like set the course of the company and you can be part of the change and all this sort of bullshit but then when it comes down to it and money's on the line and decisions need to be made about the future of the company especially especially when you've got stockholders um you know who are you basically are, are responsible or you're responsible to report into some big decisions need to be made above you and they're going to be made with or without your consent and i think with these spotify employees they need to be they're probably going to be in for a rude awakening as to what happens down the line if joe rogan does in the end go you know go on to you know bringing back the people like alex jones and shit they're going to be in for a big awakening when that does happen so joe rogan in his joe rogan fashion addressed it i guess on tim dylan you know he, he kind of uh was the f that's probably the first time he did it and then he kind of put the finger in there or you know he sort of basically said hey i'm gonna be a bit more cheeky and sort of push the envelope as much as i can and tweeted the following video on his own twitter account right and this is the following spotify employees censoring joe rogan right and it's a video but these two comedians taking the piss out of some of the spotify employees and how they go on i'm gonna play a bit of it for you now here let's see this this is hilarious. I watched a bit of it earlier today, but let's watch a bit of it now. Most of it now, yeah. Uh, yeah, as Spotify employees, we're demanding the executives allow us to edit and censor Joe Rogan's podcast. Or we are walking out. Train my day, Joe Rogan podcast. Uh. <laughs> my night, all day. Joe's going for it. He doesn't He's care. He's spreading hate. Must be stopped. He's transphobic. He always talks about how he likes trans people, which means he doesn't love <laughs> trans people, which means he hates trans people. Hateful Joe Rogan has built a massive audience because people enjoy and respect what he and his guests have to say. But who knows better than his audience what they want to hear? We do. <laughs> hearing what Joe has to say, his audience would rather hear what we want him to be able to say. His audience just isn't intelligent enough to know what they want to hear. God damn luckily it. Luckily, here in the SJW wing, we can think for them because we're highly intelligent people. Well, kind of. I identify as a cat. But the executives at Spotify won't cater to our demands. Jesus it's Christ. almost like they value a hundred million dollar asset more than a forty nine thousand dollar asset. Now again, you know, it's fairly, you know, you know, you know that kind of humor. It's it's funny for the minute, maybe not for four minutes, but you get the gist. But I guess in terms of Joe's position at Spotify, it is a bit of a power play. It is sort of him flexing his muscles and basically letting it be known that he is the alpha in this relationship. Especially, and he's also making it be known that, you know, he doesn't need these people. And I'm pretty sure Joe's savvy enough to be in a position where he sort of worked in his contract that he gets a lump sum. If they decide to fire him or terminate the contract, they're going to have to cover certain parts of the contract. They're going to have to maybe pay him an exit fee. Um, they might, you know, he, he, he'll be in, I don't think Joe will be in a position where if Spotify turn around and say, hey, this pressure from our employees is too much, we can't have you on our platform to terminate his contract, they, they, he will never be in a position where we have to give back any money. So I think he is now flexing those muscles and be like, hey, I've collected the check. I didn't need you anyway because I was big enough as it is doing my own thing. I kind of did this, not as a favor, but I did this just to kind of, you know, why not, right? If someone's asking you to license your podcast on their platform and you own the internet, you own the IP for only a set amount of years and they give you a huge cash lump something in the beginning, why not? 
why not do it? Do you know what I mean? Of course, there's an option in the future that he could probably work with Spotify further down the line, maybe doing some original programming and blah, 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 blah. Who knows? They might have an option to, you know, they might go into, let's say, streaming of movies and TV shows and shit. He might have a comedy special on Spotify. We don't know going forward. But just for the here and now, collecting a million dollars right up front, allegedly from what we know, we've heard so far, you know, according to other people on other podcasts, they say anywhere between 100 to 200, right? And anywhere up increasing concerning, you know, performance bonuses and shit. He's in a really powerful position. So again, like I said at the beginning, unfortunately, if you're a Spotify employee and you legitimately think that your, you know, higher ups owe you, um, what? owe you enough to listen to your opinions again this is coming from somebody that's worked in a startup where i was the employee number 12 right it doesn't happen like that especially the more successful your company is the more um stockholders that they have to report to especially if they've gone you know if they've declared themselves public they have to answer to too many people again your boss has bosses now unfortunately so even if you have some actual legitimate concerns about joe and the show that he puts together and i guess he has on his on his on his podcast they're gonna fall on deaf ears you're just gonna have to you know actually you know uh, soak it up and or just move on to other avenues unfortunately so that was the latest development there regarding joe rogan i'm interested to see what happens with it going forward i don't think they're gonna split up or break up the terminate his contract i just don't think so there's too much money on the line too much at stake don't get wrong there's too much money in the deal itself and there's too much money riding on spotify's decision to go with joe rogan regarding podcasting they can't allow one of their biggest worlds just to kind of you know swim away because of a couple of disgruntled or you know a few disgruntled employees it's not it's not that big of a deal and again it's just so hypocritical for people at spotify to have an issue with you know Joe Rogan being on the platform and not have any issues with the copious amounts of look flipping Brian Abbott I, I assume Brian and Brian Adams music is still available on fucking Spotify do you know what I mean so that's not necessarily fair there's a lot of more there's a lot more issues with music and their lyrics than there would be a couple of comedians or whatever maybe saying some spicy things on a podcast people need to grow up and again if you don't like it just don't listen to it anyway that's the that's the best way to protest things as well don't like something turn it off don't support it don't give it any energy all this is again it's only making him more popular you know it's inspired these two comedians to go out and make a complete spoof of the whole entire issue and take umbrage or you know take some humor in your pain that you're suffering at the moment so if you're a spotify employee your best option is just ignore keep it moving but don't be surprised if your bosses don't ever listen to you